Today I'm going to set up and test the Belkin N150 wireless router. I bought this one because it's the cheapest one that Staples had and I also had a $5 off any $25 purchase at Staples which sweetened the deal. Interestingly enough, the clerk at Staples advised against getting this router. That wasn't very good salesmanship, if you ask me. But at any rate, I thought that for $24.99, I'd give it a try. Let's see what we have in this treasure chest. Hope it's not empty. Uh -huh. Router. Oh, has a handy card with the network name and password. Power adapter. Patch cable. And it looks like we have a couple of extra Ethernet ports as well for wired networking. There's also an installation CD. I'll start by connecting the Ethernet cables. I'll disconnect the cable to my modem and plug it in to the new router in one of the local area network ports. And I will then plug this cable into the modem. Next I'll connect the power supply. and it's blinking different colors on this nifty indicator light. It would be more nifty if I knew what the colors meant. Well everything's hooked up as far as the wired connection and I don't have internet access on my computer so I think it might be necessary to install the installation CD and we'll run through that because I want to make sure that the wired part of it works before I work on the wireless portion. So that CD should start on its own. Okay, now let's see, run Belkin setup and monitor. And I guess we'll allow it to do its thing. Setup wizard next. I accept every part of the agreement. Install. get connected. Okay. Unplug the modem and wait 15 seconds and plug it back in. Okay. Unplug. And that's about 15 seconds or so. Okay, modem looks good. I'll click on next. What country are you in? United States. Okay, now we have to enter the name and password. Usually it takes longer than a minute or two to establish a meaningful connection. <laughs> I don't know if it took much longer for that for us. I'm gonna put that on the internet. You could. Success! I'm now connected via the 
wired connection. Easy enough. So we'll exit and see if the internet works. Hooray! We'll do a speed test. Speedtest.net. I should have about 25 megabits per second. I've noted that on the router, the light is blue. I think blue means all is good. Blue is a soothing color. What is this? Your router may not work properly unless it has the newest update. Hmm. I think I'll pass on that for now. Looks like the speed is pretty good. So I think it works good as far as a network switch or a wired router. Next, let's see how it does with wireless networking. Next, I will attempt to connect to the router over there with my laptop way over here. I haven't installed anything on the laptop and I shouldn't have to. I'll just click on the available connections and there's the router showing up there. And it's asking me for the security key, which I think is the same password that I entered before. I'll enter that. And OK. OK, select a location. Home. OK, so it says we're connected. Let's see if we can get on the internet. And we can. Let's do a speed test here and see what happens. Now with the wired connection I had about 25 megabits per second. Let's see what we have here. This is only about 10 feet from the router, so it should be pretty good. Wow, super duper. 33, that's better than the wire. And upload is 5, 6. I'm pleased with that. Let's move this to another room and see what happens. The next thing I want to test is the wireless performance at an intermediate distance from the router itself. So I've moved my laptop from this uh, back office to the opposite end of the house. It's probably 50 to 75 feet away. And it still says that I have a good connection, but I want to run a speed test again. The ping is the same, and good connection speed as well. It was 30 before, and it's now 27, 26, so that's still very good connection and that's all the way across the house for the third and final test I've gone outside of the room where the router is and past the intermediate point where we did the second test and outside to a spot where I probably won't ever use the computer, but I thought it would be a good test anyway. Now we're about um, probably 75 feet from the router itself, and 
Let's test the speed out here. It was 27 megabits per second before, and looks like it might have slowed down a little bit at this distance. Looks like we're holding about 13. So 16 megabits per second download speed at 75 feet from the router and about three or four exterior walls that the signal has to go through. So I think that's a pretty good investment for $25. In conclusion, I'm happy with my purchase. This router will broadcast a wireless signal throughout my house and even outside if the need arises. It was easy to set up and although it probably doesn't have as many features as more expensive routers, it was definitely in my budget at an MSRP of $29.99 but with my Staples coupon $24.99. So I wouldn't hesitate to buy this again if I needed it. The next test will be reliability. We'll see if it's still working in a year, but that's the big question with any device is the reliability. Thanks for watching.